Despite significant growth in mobile phone penetration, huge parts of Kenya remains outside mobile as well as internet reach since they are sparsely populated, making them commercially unviable. Data from the Communications Authority of Kenya says that about 99.7% of the population is covered by 2G signals, while 66.1% has access to 3G. The study further shows that only 2,500 sublocations have access to 100% coverage of 3G and broadband, while 1,244 sublocations have no access to this service at all. Operators left very many gaps in their service because they were looking at places that they considered to be financially viable as a suitable place with good return. 102 sublocations in Kenya have been left out. They are either underserved or unserved. The Communications Authority says that it was paying 1.2 billion shillings to improve network coverage in underserved parts of the country. The authority has said the project would cover northeastern as well as Rift Valley parts of the country. CHE and Genegituku says this area suffer from poor infrastructure, insecurity and poor network as most mobile operators consider these areas as economically unviable. CA plans to use funds from the Universal Service Fund to connect these places. We were to cover the entire country, everywhere. We require over 110 billion. What to call phase one, we have voice infrastructure, due to Malaysia, to Tangia phase two, Pia Kuna Mashule, 890 schools and bazo wanafanya connectivity, na to Tendelea Hivo kwa phase two, Idi to Chukwe, Nambari Zaidi. Majimoto Ward in Narok South has become the first area to benefit from the USF funded project. According to CA figures, the fund stood at 7.1 billion shillings last year. Out of this, the regulator says 4.6 billion shillings has been allocated for voice as well as broadband projects. 